long run. He's given her a chance to score heavily in this all important fifth frame. 14. Fifteen. Just looking at Ronnie's pot success there, ninety-four percent. Twenty-two. That's really good. As we say on so many occasions, 23. if you drop below 90% nowadays at this level, then you're going to struggle. 90% safety success, and Steve just not able to match him in the safety success stakes at the moment. 30. The key though with that pot success rate, John, it, it's come after an awful lot of safety as well, which makes it even a better stat. 31. Yep. Couldn't agree more. Forty-six. This is the key shot as far as Steve Davis fans are concerned because if he splits these nicely, it's end of frame. How have they done? I don't think there's anything on this right-hand corner. Fifty-one. Well, will he risk playing the one at the back of the pack? I don't think so. The, the, the mindset is in. It's such an easy safety shot getting behind the yellowish, but he's playing this pot. Well, this is dangerous. Sure. Well, this, uh, a mere mortal, I suppose. 52. Could have maybe deserved to be a frame winner that shot. Right now, please, gents, there's another match on, thank you. 57. Sixty-five. Sixty-six. Well, another, well, what looks to be another frame-winning break. He's sixty-six in front. This black will make him seventy-three, which is actually frame ball. And to be honest, I can't remember Steve Davis playing a. You know, I don't think he's missed anything easy. I don't think he's played any bad safety shots, and he's going to find himself four one behind. Well, you don't have to do a lot wrong with Ronnie, do you? To be on the wrong end of the frame. Eighty-one. And he's taken you superbly. Good opening 82. red. And well, as we said in the last frame, once he gets in and around the Blacksville area and the, and the pace he plays. You know, it's just uh, it's scary when he's in this mood. 
Well, I wouldn't we like him to be in this mood more often 90. because he's just an absolute pleasure to watch when he's in this frame of mind. We see so many times where he doesn't seem to be too bothered. He's certainly bothered this afternoon. Mm, didn't want to kiss 97. the red. Now, can he conjure up some shot to keep this going and see another century? Can we see another century? Not quite. But more than enough to win the frame. Steve Davis played an aggressive safety, but he left the red near the corner. Ronnie knocked it in, and that was frame over. Ronnie O'Sullivan now leads by four frames to one. And we saw two wonderful examples of topspin there. I mean, the first red he potted in that break where he had to play with a lot of topspin to get top side of the blue. But then he was in a situation where he, he'd got a red at the back of the reds. Now, if you just play this at normal pace without any spin, you've got a, a white that's dead, not going anywhere. But the way he plays it, loads of topspin. Watch it when it hits the reds. It suddenly, suddenly takes off again and pushes its way through the pack. And without topspin, that wasn't possible. And uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan, of course, went on to win the game. And this is what we call topspin. What actually happens when it, for, it kind of stops before it goes through? So we'll get another example of this shot in a second. This one here, look, just keep, keep an eye on the white. When, it's, when it strikes the red, it seems to stop, and then all of a sudden the topspin takes. And that's why sometimes...